this class we discuss about the operation of low pressure sodium vapor lamp low pressure sodium vapor lamps are invented first in 1920 by arthur h compton at gusting house united states of america it is a gas discharge lamp that uses sodium in an excited state to produce light working principle low pressure sodium vapor lamp works by electric discharge that means passes the electricity through a sodium vapor at low and high pressure filaments of the lamp sputter sputter means spit up in an explosive manner fast moving electrons which hit the sodium atoms causing the valence electrons of the sodium atoms to excite to higher energy levels and the electrons thus excited and are emitting the characteristics of monochromatic yellow light its wavelength is 589 nanometers monochromatic means having or appearing to have only one color or having only one wavelength a low pressure sodium vapor lamp contains two glass tubes one is outer glass tube is made up of ordinary glass inner glass tube is called as discharge tube which is made up of borosilicate glass that is fitted with the metal electrodes and filled with the neon and argon and a little amount of metallic sodium neon gas serves to start discharge and to develop enough heat to vaporize sodium argon has lower glow voltage argon helps the smaller lamps start at a lower voltage sodium vapor lamp is suitable for alternating current and therefore requires choke control a voltage of the order of 380 to 450 volt depending upon the wattage is necessary to start discharge which is obtained from a high reactance transformer or an auto transformer its operating power factor is 0.3 hence suitable capacitor must be used to improve the power factor this is a figure of a low pressure sodium vapor lamp sodium vapor lamp contains two glass tubes one is outer tube which is made up of ordinary glass inner discharge u shaped tube is made up of borosilicate inside the tube two electrodes are fitted and neon plus argon plus small amount of metallic sodium is also placed inside the discharge tube here neon is used to start the discharge sodium vapor lamps suitable only for ac supply hence we need a choke control a choke is connected here for starting the sodium vapor lamp requires 350 to 480 volts hence we go for a high reactance transformer or auto transformer which is used to heat the cathode hence it is called as cathode heating transformer the operating power factor of a sodium vapor lamp is 0.3 to improve the power factor a capacitor is connected across the supply now we see the operation of the sodium vapor lamp and the lamp is not in operation the sodium is usually in the form of solid deposited on the side walls of the discharge tube this is a discharge tube the sodium is deposited on the walls of the discharge tube when it is connected across the supply mains that means we are giving a 230 volt 50 hertz supply the discharge takes place in the neon gas and it gives red orange glow the metallic sodium gradually vaporizes and ionizes thereby producing the characteristics of monochromatic yellow light the lamp will come up to its rated light output approximately in 10 minutes that is a major disadvantage of sodium vapor lamp to give its rated light output approximately it will take 7 to 10 minutes it will restart immediately 
should the power supply be momentarily interrupted since the pressure of vapor is quite low and the voltage is sufficient to restrict the arc so at the time of starting it requires high voltage under operating condition it does not require high voltage the major application of this type of lamp is for highway and general outdoor lighting where color discrimination is not required advantages of low pressure sodium vapor lamp number 1 its lamp efficacy is 100 to 185 lumens per watt number 2 its average life is 14000 to 18000 hours number 3 it provides uniform light distribution number 4 lumen output does not drop with the age number 5 high lamp efficacy leads to low energy consumption disadvantages are number 1 these lamps have poor color rendering characteristics number 2 it provides monochromatic light number 3 very expensive to install number 4 for attaining full brightness it requires 7 to 10 minutes number 5 requires special disposal considerations these are all the advantages and disadvantages of low pressure sodium vapor lamp with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening